We're going to go now to our GMA Health Alert, kicking off Men's Health Week with a first of its kind study about where your fat is located and how it could affect your risk of developing prostate cancer. Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here. And Doc, tell us more about this Good research. morning, Michael. So it's been known for a long time that body fat and obesity increase the risk for cancer, prostate cancer being the, one of the most common for men. This was the first time that a study looked at body composition, body fat distribution. They studied some men in Iceland and found using CAT scan analysis of their body fat distribution that men who had high visceral fat, so that's the dangerous fat that's found inside and around our, our internal organs, had an increased risk of advanced prostate cancer. Men with high subcutaneous fat, and in particular also in the thigh as well as the belly, had an increased risk of fatal prostate cancer. So again, not a surprise that BMI, body mass index, mm -hmm. increased the risk. It did for overall uh, advanced and fatal, but not the total number of prostate. So very, very interesting. And what is the link between obesity and cancer? A couple of things, and we know this well, so it's not just a theory anymore. When you have excess body fat, it increases and changes metabolism, hormonal mm. mediators, inflammatory environment. It can lead to insulin resistance. All of that can fuel cancer. And then when you look at the body head to toe, there are 13 what we call obesity-related cancers that go from meningioma, a certain type of brain cancer, thyroid, breast, ovarian, endometrial, all the way to the GI tract. So when we say obesity, most people think heart disease. You also have to think cancer. And being a doctor and a nutritionist, you're going to advise us to lose weight yes. and to keep it off. Am I right? Correct. And to not gain weight. And that is easier said than done. But to be clear, make this a priority because if you increase the fruits and vegetables, increase your activity level, you will not just do good things for your heart and brain, but it lower your risk for cancer. And I will tell you, Michael, almost every major cancer center in this country mm -hmm. studying the effects of diet, certain types of medications that we actually use to treat type 2 diabetes, and the risk of progression of cancer and development of cancer. This is a very hot topic in medical research right now. Very hot topic. I'm glad you're here to discuss it and help us out with it, Thank Doc. You, Thank you. you so much. You well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.